Hello, my friends. Today we're going to look at how we can make changes and adjust the um, learning path for students when they're completing uh, the lessons that have been uh, prescribed by um, iReady. So the, um, you're going to go to the Assess and Teach uh, tab here and click on that. And on the left hand side, you're going to select instruction. And then you have these choices for personalized instruction. So let's say we go to uh, reading. Okay, so um, there, this is on the left is where you can uh, view the student's progress on those lessons. And then here on the right is what we want to look at where it says ad adjust instruction. Okay, so adjust, um, so you can uh, turn a domain on or off, you can adjust lesson placement, and that's what we're looking at today. So we click here, and then um, we, um, you obviously will have just your school, so I'm just going to choose here. Um, there we go, um, and I'm just going to uh, randomly choose a student. Okay, and so let's just start with, um, so you have to choose a domain. So, okay, so let's go phonological awareness. Um, and so this student has been tested out of that. So let's say that, you know, you have a student that is a non-reader, you know is a non-reader, you can turn this domain on and select a, um, a lesson for them to start with. Um, and then I'm going to guess that this student probably tested at a phonics. So let's go to um, comprehension. So let's say in comprehension. So clicking here. All right, so the student place has been placed from the diagnostic in kinder. And so then if you scroll through, you'll see the um, diagnostic placement here is to retell stories in this lesson. You can go and if you want to adjust their placement, uh, let's um, say you know that they um, already, um, their comprehension is, you know, in the higher third grade level, you could, you would select um, here, understanding characters. And if you click this, um, that student will be placed in and their lessons will start here. So they won't receive any of the lessons. So if I click on this one, I'm not going to because I don't want to adjust this child's um, lessons. But you click on that one and then none of these other lessons in the sequence in these earlier grades um, will appear for the student. So they won't receive any of these lessons from here, from this where they were placed in the diagnostic um, up to wherever you choose. So it's a way for you to um, adjust their placement. So move it, you know, either up or down, you could adjust it the other way. Um, if it's obviously for this is um, comprehension, you don't want to turn that completely off. But if they've tested into phonics, for example, um, and you know that they already know all of their um, letter sounds, and they are able to, um, you know, perform all of these um, tasks, then you could actually click here and turn that domain off and they won't receive lessons. Um, in that area at all. So that's another option for that. Okay, so again, just a real quick review. So you're going to go um, to Assess and Teach, Instruction, and then you'll click on the personalized instruction in whether it's math or reading. So it looks the same for both and the same thing. Um, adjust placement, and then you'll have to choose your student and go one student at a time to click